What's going on YouTube? It's Blood, Sweat, and Gears 87. And today we're gonna uh, be working on some food plots. Um, this is gonna be my first time like planning big food plots. Um, if you follow my page, been looking at any of my videos, you know that I typically plant like a, a fall, winter plot. Um, I usually do those around like October and I mainly plant wheat and oats. Like uh, a few years ago, well this was several years ago, I tried to plant like a small field back here where we're going today and we planted, we tried to do a spring plot before and I believe we planted cow peas and soybeans but I did it on a much smaller scale and everything that came up like soon as it sprouted, the deer took it out instantly. So after that happened, I kind of shied away from trying to do the spring plots and I only would do the, the uh, the fall and winter plots and the the ones that I was doing I mean I'm still going to do them but the, those uh fall and winter plots they're much smaller like I have two of them back here they both are maybe only like half an acre so I, I do like one that's a half an acre like over here and then I do another one that's back in the woods back way back down here but I think both of those plots are only like half an acre a piece but I've just been doing so much research online about trying to do the, the spring plots and I've been reading that when you do the spring plots if it'll grow like all through the spring and the summer it'll give your deer you know the bucks does everything more food to eat during like the stress periods which I think they call late winter and like mid summer the stress periods or whatever and just everything I've been looking at they say that if your um, bucks have more stuff to eat during the spring and summer while the antlers are growing, it will help increase their potential for growing bigger racks. And you know, you'll have more stuff for the does and the fawns, everything to eat. So what we're gonna do today is try to get um, some fields that are back here ready to plant. And I think the other thing that I was kind of failing with before when I was doing these smaller spring plots it just wasn't enough food and the deer numbers were so high that when everything would come up they would like take it out instantly so now we're going to try to do it on a much bigger scale we're going to try to plant i think it's around seven acres i believe it might be right under seven acres so you know just over six but um i think if we plant more food that the deer, you know, it'll start growing before the deer can take everything out. And I plan to plant um a couple mixes. So this time it's going to be like mixes that have soybeans, cow peas. I think it might have like collards, okra, buckwheat. Um, I'll show you guys like the full list of all the stuff that's in these these mixes when it's time to plant them. But today. We're gonna go out, and I just I just bought this spreader right here. I literally just bought this. I ordered it from Tractor Supply. I think this thing can hold like 850 pounds worth of, uh, you know, whatever you can put. It's a cedar. I mean, um, it's a spreader slash cedar. So you can use this to help spread out your fertilizer, lime, the seeds that you're planting, any of that good stuff. And uh, I actually have a seed drill that's up here at my um my uncle well, was my uncle's. But it's like a really old one and uh that's a whole another story for another day but we're gonna try to bring it back it's like old and rusty but when me and uh one of my buddies we're gonna try to bring it back from the dead because i think that's gonna be a game changer as well but it's gonna take so long to get that thing together that you know the um the planting season will probably will pass by the time we get it together so i went and bought this spreader right here because i figured this might make my life a little easier because like when i do the smaller plots Usually I'll be out there by myself. Sometimes my brother come help me. I'll be out there with a bucket just walking throwing 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 I ain't even know spreaders like this existed like I'm a the amateur at this whole farming thing and trying to plant stuff for the deer so I didn't know these things existed and it's gonna just make my life way easier instead of trying to walk around Throwing stuff by hand. I can go out here fill this thing up go out with the tractor Fling it everywhere. I won't have to throw anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing loaded up. Uh, the spot we about to go to right now. I'm gonna do the biggest field first. I think I'm gonna put. I think I have. I ordered um 
I have a thousand pounds of fertilizer. So I think we're gonna go to the first bigger field. I think I'm gonna put 600 pounds of fertilizer out in that field. Then we're gonna go to a little smaller field, put 200 pounds of fertilizer in it. And then we have another lane in the woods that we opened up. I'm gonna put 200 pounds of fertilizer out there. So that's what, that's what we're gonna do today. And we're gonna basically go back here, put out that thousand pounds of fertilizer, and then I'm gonna come back and get the disc hair off and diss it up a little bit more so that that fertilizer gets into the soil really well. And then later in the week, I think about the middle of the week, I'll go back and I put the seed in here instead of the fertilizer. We'll throw the seed out, come back over it with a drag hair, off, and then we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's gonna come up and uh, hopefully the deer won't get on top of it before it gets rolling and growing. But uh. I definitely keep you guys updated on how how all of that turns out. But let me go ahead. I think I think right now I'm gonna put 600 pounds of fertilizer in this, and then we'll uh, get the rolling. We're going down here, see how it's gonna go. Let's get started.
What's going on, y'all? So I'm back, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the seed out so we can go ahead and get this thing planted. Um, I've been waiting on my drag hero to come in from Tractor Supply. I'm not sure what they got going on. The thing should have been here, but it's not. And I think it might come today. But even if it doesn't, due to time constraints, I'm gonna go ahead and get this seed put out. And if uh, if the drag hero is here, by the time I get back to the house, then we'll use it to cover everything up. If not, we'll just use the disc hero that we've been using to uh, cover up all the seed. But anyway, I'll show you guys some of the seeds that I have here that I'm gonna try to get planted. All right, so you guys know I got three different spots that I plan to plant. So that's why I had this stuff laid out like this. And um, I'm using like mixes this go around, like not just one particular crop or one particular sort of plant in each spot. I'm using like mixes of a lot of different things. And um, I have them laid out like this because this is how I'm gonna do them. That biggest, the biggest plot, which is close to three acres, we're gonna plant this stuff right here, which is uh, 150 pounds. And um, I'll get closer in a minute so you guys can see what all this is on that ingredients list. This is gonna go in the other field that's like right on the other side of their hedgerow. So this field right here is about three acres. This one is about one acre, and then this one is about one acre. So in the first one, we're gonna have 150 pounds. This one, we're gonna have 100 pounds. And in this one, we're gonna have 90 pounds. But I found out about this particular company right here, Green Cover, from the Growing Deer page on uh, YouTube. And I've just been watching a lot of the stuff that the Growing Deer guy, I, I believe his name is Grant Woods, a lot of the stuff that he's been talking about, about trying to grow bigger deer and having food, like high quality food for them to eat all through the summer when their like antlers are growing and when the does are raising the fawns and all that good stuff. So we're going to go and try to get all this stuff planted. And these particular mixes right here, which like we just said, I found about them, found out about them from the growing deer YouTube page. And this is actually called the summer release. And it has several different things as you guys can see on here that the deer are going to be eating on um i mean you see right there it's got different clovers buckwheat sunflowers cow peas soybeans mung beans hemp etc etc so i think if i can get these things in the ground and it rains a little bit and everything gets to growing i'm gonna have a ton of food for the deer to eat out there and if it's successful that I actually create three more spots that I can hunt. So, you know, I'm not sure how it's going to go, but if all this stuff grows, I'm probably going to put a stand where I can look over all three of these plots. I'm going to try to put a stand in there somewhere. So, the biggest field, we're going to use 150 pounds of this summer release from Green Cover. And you guys see again everything that's on there. And then the next field, I'm just gonna use a combo. We're gonna use uh, 50 pounds of the summer release from uh, Green Cover. And then I'm gonna use 50 pounds of these uh, Game Changer for it soybeans from the Biologic Mossy Oak brand. And um, you know, I'm just trying to have like a big diversity here. So, I mean, this bag itself has a huge diversity, but when I mix this stuff up, it's just gonna give me like an even bigger diversity. So we'll see how it's gonna go. But I think this bag right here is typically soybeans. So in the first field, we're gonna have the mix of all this stuff. Next field, we're gonna have these game changer for soybeans and the summer release. And then this last field, which uh, I'm pretty sure when it gets to growing, the deer are gonna use it as well. Because I'm, I'm going to use a mixture. Um, this will kind of be more so a deer mix. And then this right here is more like a, a upland game bird mix. And I've got this one because it's turkeys back there sometimes. So I figure if the turkeys found this stuff that's going to be growing in this particular mix, it might 
help them hang around back here on our land. So I guess we'll see how it's gonna go. But like I say, biggest feel, bam, the next feel, this, and then that last feel that's like, we just cleared this spot out and it's like kind of in the woods. We're gonna have this mix right here in it. And this right here is another one from Biologic, Mossy Oak. Protein peas plus. It's also got sorghum and some flour. You guys can see right here what's all in there. Mung beans, cow peas, sunflowers, sorghum, etc. etc. And then in this upland game mix from green cover. It's got several things on here. You see if I can even trying to read it through the camera. We got flax, radish, different mustards, buckwheat, sunflowers, safflowers, sesame seeds, millet, sorghum, mung beans, guar, etc. And then they also come uh, from green cover. They also come with like an inoculate. I think this. I'm not 100% sure what all it does. I mean, there's an explanation right there, but I think it helps with the goons when they're getting planted, like different kind of beans and stuff like that. So we're gonna take that, mix it all up and put it out. Try to get it planted, see how it goes. This is another inoculate that comes from Green Cobra to uh, put on this stuff before you plant it. So. We're going to uh, pray this stuff grows. <laughs> I mean, I went out there and put fertilizer, but I, I did not lime it. So I'm not 100% sure, sure how all of this is going to go. But I think it's going to be interesting to try it out nonetheless. So let me, let me get this stuff together, get on the tractor and uh, get to work. Check in with y'all in a second. Let's see how it's gonna go. <laughs> All right, so I just got a call with the people that track the supply, and it looks like my drag hero isn't gonna be here until Tuesday. It is Friday right now, so I think I made the right decision. I'm gonna go on and um, put the seed out, and then I'll come back maybe with the disc hero and just lightly cover this stuff up. But um, let me go ahead and uh, put these seeds in the spreader, and then I'll show you what it's looking like. Because I'm going to um, do some of this for the uh, other field on the other side of this hedgerow right here. So, probably going to put it back mm, three fourths of the bag in there and save a fourth to go into the, the other thing over here. So, let me go ahead and try to get this mixed up in here and then the, um, let me see. Uh, probably put just a little bit more. Alright, so I'll go ahead and mix that in. Then the rest of it I put into the other 100 pounds that are going to go with that over there and that smaller field. But you guys see, about to um, go ahead and spread this stuff out. See how it's gonna go.
All right, so I'm about to go get on the tractor and uh, get to spreading the seed out. I see one spot right there that I must have missed because I was having some tractor problems. And when I came back and was uh, finished disking this spot up, I actually, uh, <laughs> it was getting dark. So I see there's one spot out there that I missed. But, I mean, I'm going to come back with a disc herald to um, cover the seeds up. So I just make sure I go over that spot again. I don't think it'll hurt anything. Cause I mean the seeds are gonna be spread out like right over that spot, so you know it should work out. So all right, let me hop on this track then, and uh, I'll probably film me making a couple rounds. So I ain't gonna do the whole thing, cause I mean <laughs> you already seen me do that with the fertilizer. So I'll just uh, record me make a couple passes in each field, and uh, we'll see how this thing goes. So this is the next field we're going to plant and in this field we are going to have uh, 50 pounds of the summer release from green cover and 50 pounds of forage soybeans from uh, Biologic which is uh, the Mossy Oak brand. So let's get started. It's going to be the same thing. We're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But after we get this one, there's one more field, then it'll be time to go get the dish harrow and uh, cover everything up. Let's get it going. spot that we are going to put seed out in and plant today um this spot is going to have that pea mix the um peas and sorghum and sunflowers and all that good stuff that's from biologic and i'm also going to put a uh, upland game bird mix from uh green cover seed out there so this is what it looks like it looks just a tad bit different than the other mix that we just put out I see it. So, I'm gonna do the same thing that we did in other spots. Go ahead, spread it out, and then we will come back with the disc carol and cover it all up. So, let me get that going. It's gonna be the same thing. <laughs> be driving back and forth. So that's a wrap on spreading the seed out. I'm about to go home, get me a snack, and uh, I'll come back out here in a little bit with the, the disc carol, cover all the seed up, and then maybe um, in a week or so, we'll come back here and see if anything is going on, if anything is sprouting or anything like that. Um, I think it's supposed to rain tonight. I mean, it's only like a 30, 40% chance. But I think it may rain tonight, maybe a little tomorrow. But I know for sure, well, you know, you can't say for sure because you never know with the weather. But they calling for rain, I think, like Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. 
so maybe i mean it's friday right now so maybe next friday or saturday we'll come out here and just take a look at those three fields and see if anything's going on so hopefully everything grows the deer don't take it down before it gets a hold and uh we have a few more plots to sell up over when deer season gets here but anyway about to go home give me something to eat come di get that uh dish carol i'm not gonna show that because i mean it's the same thing you guys just watch me do except i'm gonna have the dish carol just going back and forth back and forth trying to cover some of the seed up a little bit i don't want to cover it too much so i'm just gonna lightly disc over these three fields and uh We'll be back next week to see what's going on. Check in with you guys a little bit later. Till next time. Blood, Sweat, and Gears 87. If you guys like, comment, share this video, do all that good stuff. Holla at y'all later. Peace.